Time magazine predicted that sharing economy would change the world back in 2011. Four years later, there is Uber, Airbnb, and Zipcar, so yes, it may be safe to say that time was right. But not only in the U.S., a sharing economy is also a trend that's been spreading throughout Seoul. Simply by a touch of a button, you can now share rooms, cars, clothes, and even parking space. Our Oh Soo Young tells us more. Sharing economy was first introduced in 1984 through a dissertation in the United States. Thirty years later, it is on its way to becoming a brand new economic model as it integrates with IT and modern technology. Sharing economy serves as a platform for sharing extra commodities with others online or through their smartphone. In recent years, sharing economy in Korea has been making its way into our daily lives in various forms. This sharing culture has been flourishing in Seoul, which was even labelled by Forbes magazine as one of the world's sharing capitals in 2014. Korea's cultural, social and work-related norms contribute to the sharing boom. Combined with information and communications technology, we can see Korea's own exquisite model of sharing economy take shape. This is a place in eastern Seoul, where sharing economy is taking its course in form of the redistribution market system, which we use as pre-owned goods. There are hundreds of donated suits, ties and shoes laid out for you to pick and choose from, just like your personal wardrobe. Complete with a pair of heels, you can borrow an entire outfit for less than 27 US dollars, and that's for four days. This way, clothes that were left in the back of someone's wardrobe are now on the racks to be worn by countless others for any special occasion, from weddings to job interviews. I came to borrow a suit for an interview for graduate school. I suddenly got a job interview and I couldn't buy a suit right away, so I came to borrow one instead. Buying a suit for the first time can be expensive and stressful when you don't know where to start looking and what's right for you. We provide a low-cost solution for these concerns. Finding somewhere to park is a daily challenge in the big city. But a smartphone application solves this headache by allowing users to share their personal parking spots in a product service system where consumers pay to have access to a product. As IT and sharing economy come together, parking in the city becomes a new hassle-free experience. Users can register their parking spots on our app while they are not using them and earn their parking fees paid by those who use the space. Drivers can use the application to find the closest and cheapest parking spot in the vicinity. On this application, you can select the area you're heading to. That gives you information on the parking spaces being shared. And if you press the navigation button, you can even get assisted guidance to the exact location. It only costs a dollar an hour to use the parking spot. That's much cheaper than other parking lots or garages nearby, which charge up to $7 per hour. Also, users can redeem almost half the parking fee as cash points for later use. Parking is an everyday discomfort for all drivers, so I thought that developing a service to resolve such problems would be a good business opportunity. Sharing objects, places, skills and even experience can generate access to entirely new spaces or resources beyond imagination. As our lives become more connected with IT, smartphones, IoT and various commodities, sharing economy services will become more actively used. As with the e-commerce trend that people never believed would work when it was first introduced, sharing economy has its own critics nipping at the bit as it still finds its footing. But rest assured, in this tech-heavy era, economists agree it's only a matter of time. Oh Soo Young, Arirang News.